Hello friends, so in this video tutorial of DAX, we will learn about dating period in DAX Power BI, how to use this formula and uh, like how it can be helpful. So this formula can be used for calculating a cumulative sales of three months, last three months. It can be of any last three months. So we will use in that this formula. So we already have created a measure here that is our total sales. So if I will click on total sales here. So we have a total sales we, where, where we have calculated the total of sales. So total sales is a measure which we have created. Total sales calculate some order. And from we will use this in our uh, this formula, dating period formula. So now we will go to new measure here and give it a name sum and we give it the name and the name is three month cumulative sales I give it this name you can give it any name so that it will be more easy to understand then I will use the calculate formula after putting the calculate we have to put uh, our the total sales and then I will put comma here then I will give the formula name and the formula name is date in period then I will take our order date then I will put date then I will put comma and last date I will put the formula last date so that from the last date will calculate and then I will give again our order date table dot date and I will close this so we have closed this and next I will give comma minus 3 because it will calculate from the previous minus 3 total and then comma I will put here month put a comma here minus 3 comma month and close this so now I will just press this enter or this right arrow key so we have created a measure here which is three months now we will create a table here I will just go and create our order date here first of all then our total sales so we have information uh, we have taken subcategory not subcategory we will take total sales here okay so this is our sales I will just remove this day because we will creating according to the month here so I will just months wise our total sales then I will use this cumulative formula three month cumulative sales here now what you will find like it is adding till three months like first month it's uh, first month is 43 second it will add these two and third is this add three so it will show us an information of three months sale next when we will go to April it will add these three months February March April then we will go to May it will add from March April May so this way it is adding our sales and give us the picture about our sales whatever sales we made and give us a clear picture and if we will add some new here like if I will add a bar graph here and like to put some information here like first of all is our order date here from where I will remove the month and then our your next thing is your cumulative three month sale so monthly wise it will show us a cumulative total of three months like January what is the total here February what is the total like it will add two months there so if you will compare it like if you will see here so it will give two months this is the three months so after three months it will give us a idea like whatever sales we have made so like first three months and next three months it will give us an idea so what is the totaling of two months this is three month totaling this is again three month totaling this is three months so we have the best three month sales here so it shows us some information there so this way we can use this in our column in our reports so that's all thank you very much